Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you found me through Instagram at Sarah's Faves, make sure to follow there as well. And if you are not new here and you are a subscriber already, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today, we are going to do a pack with me get ready to travel prep video. I am leaving to go home to Massachusetts for 11 days, I think 10 nights, 11 days. We leave tomorrow, which is the 19th. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, and we come back to Austin on the 31st. I will show you all how I pack, so what I write down, how I plan what I'm going to bring. I am checking a bag, usually I will do just a carry-on, but because it's over the holidays, depending on, you know, the size of my gifts or whatever I want to bring back from home. Sometimes I have winter clothes that I leave there, so I might want to bring my parka back here just because it is getting colder in Austin. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing in this vlog, and I hope you enjoy. Get ready. So we have the checked bag. I got mine. It's CalPAC. I got it from Marshalls, I want to say, last year. It has the little lock on there. I use an away carry-on normally, but obviously, like I said, I'm checking a bag. I just got home from work at Lululemon, so that is my stuff over there. And then I just finished charging my camera, so the first thing I'll do is plug in all my devices. So my MacBook here is plugged in, my Kindle's plugged into my work computer, and then I have my adapter for my card that goes in my camera, my iPad charger over there, and then I've been charging my AirPod Maxes all day here. And now I'm going to start writing out my list. I'll sit right there and write it, and I'll take you along with that. Okay, I forgot to mention this. The other thing you wanna do with all your devices and everything, I do this every time before I leave for somewhere, is on my iPad, which is obviously new, we love her, but Oh, I have a new subscriber. Love that. So, what I'll do is usually I do this like on my phone, but now that I have an iPad, I will go in and download stuff on Netflix. I also have YouTube Premium. My dad got it up for us as like a trial, so we're just trying it out, but you can download stuff on YouTube, which is really nice. So, because I've been really into vlogging, there's a lot of other YouTubers that I've been following, so I have been saving their vlogs to watch on the plane. I get pretty anxious flying, so I like to have stuff that I know will ground me and make me feel centered while I'm traveling and make me feel less anxious. So, what I've already downloaded on my iPad is two episodes of the Headspace Guide to Meditation, six episodes of Firefly Lane, Down to Earth with Zac Efron, the new season came out, so I downloaded two episodes of that, and then I downloaded Stutz, the new uh, Jonah Hill documentary. So I like to have a couple options because sometimes I just don't want to watch a specific thing. So I downloaded all of those, and then for YouTube, I downloaded just like a couple of vlogs from people that I follow. So now I'm gonna go ahead, look at my to-do list, and start making my packing list. For my to-do list, this I made earlier this week. I returned my newly already. I did donate the Xbox to the Salvation Army. I have to change our normal sheets back, but I still have to post my old iPads on Facebook Marketplace. I charged my camera and our Switch. And then I need to do laundry today and wash my Converse because I spilled a smoothie, obviously, on them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my packing list. So what I'm gonna do first is obviously, I live in Austin, Texas, so it's a little bit warmer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the weather for Boston since I'm going to Massachusetts and look through here, see like kind of what the temperatures are for each day, what their weather is like while I'm there and then pack for that. Hobie just got home so we can have a quick intermission. Hobie, Hobie, look at mama. Hello, where are you? Hop. Oh my goodness. A little Walmart greeter of South Congress. Hi Bobby, it's not focused on your face, but you're cute. You are cute. <laughs> good boy. You're such a good boy. I love you. 
Okay, we are in the bedroom. So, Billy's watching football. I didn't know football was on Saturday this weekend, but apparently it is, so he's watching the Ravens and they're playing, I don't remember, <laughs> but he's watching because he's in his fantasy finals. So I made my packing list. As you can see here, I don't break it down by outfits. The reason being is when I'm home, I don't dress, I mean, even when I'm in Austin, I don't really dress up. Obviously I go into the office and I go to work. That's different, that's like work outfits and stuff. But because I'm off until January 3rd, I won't be working. I won't really need anything like that to dress up. My family is pretty casual for Christmas. We wear pajamas on Christmas day. Christmas Eve, we have a nice dinner, but like I could wear leggings. I'll probably wear jeans, so I'll bring those. But what I wrote here was plane outfit times two. So I'll wear the same outfit on the plane there and the plane home. We have laundry at home. So I will just wash clothes like and do laundry when I'm home. So I don't really need that many different like outfits. I can't talk today really. Four pairs of leggings, two cozy, two workout. Usually the cozy ones are my Align leggings from Lululemon that I love. And those I can, I go to yoga in or do Pilates or at home workouts, walks, anything like that. Uh, sports bras, six, two cozier ones for workout. They usually also double as the same. Sweats and sweatshirt, I'll probably just bring like one sweatsuit, one sweatshirt I like, and a pair of sweatpants that I really like. The ones I really like, I actually just got a new pair of at Lululemon because the ones I had were a little bit damaged, so I got a new pair. And then pajamas which I have on my dresser right now. I have to do laundry. So there's some stuff in my laundry bin that I wanna pack. So I'm not gonna pack everything right now, but I just wanted to go through the list. Bras, socks, and underwear. And then I'm gonna bring my Nike Air Force Ones and my Converse. I was debating between bringing my Converse or my Doc Martens just because they're both a chunkier shoe. And I'm gonna bring my Converse because I asked for like the short Uggs for Christmas and I have a feeling, hopefully, that Santa got them for me. So I don't wanna bring my Doc Martens because the reason I would bring my Doc Martens is for like snow and colder weather. If I get the Uggs, I think I'll be fine to have the Converse until then. I don't wanna have like too many pairs of shoes that I have to bring home, but that is why I am checking a bag just in case I have too many things. And then Billy can also throw some stuff in here as well. And then Beanie. So it's going to be cold in Massachusetts, so I want to bring a beanie as well. And then like gloves and my parka, my long parka that I have from Marmot, Marmot, is at home. So I'll have that there. And then for electronics, so I have a little separate section here. Camera, camera battery, camera charger, adapter for my memory card, my Whoop charger, which is the fitness band that I have. Kindle, I wrote a question mark because since I got an iPad and can read on my Kindle on there and now I got new blue light glasses, which I didn't write down. That would be an other blue light glasses. I don't know if I need my Kindle. However, it is really light and easy to use. So maybe I will bring it just to have. It is nice, like I like reading on my iPad but I don't have my messages or social media on my iPad and I don't think I'm gonna download them yet because I like having my, my iPad as like a little bit more disconnected, not like, you know, it is an Apple product but not using it for social media or stuff like that yet. I have Pinterest and YouTube on there but I don't have like Instagram or anything like that. My messages app, nothing. iPad and charger, MacBook and charger. I put a question mark on this and then I was like, okay, well I'm gonna be editing videos. <laughs> I have to do that on my MacBook. So I'm bringing that phone charger, Nintendo Switch, and then my Air Max headphones. I will probably also bring my AirPods just because they're small and I might as well have them just in case I wanna go on like a walk or something and I don't wanna bring my Air Maxes, even though the Air Maxes could kind of be like earmuffs, so you know, they might keep me warm. And then another journal, meditation book. I also put a question mark. It is one journal prompt a day and I love it, but I wonder how much it is on Kindle because I might just download it to have while I'm home instead of having to bring the book since it's like thicker. Pens, medicine, vitamins, my seed, probiotic, water bottle. I won't bring my Stanley just because when you travel with something that has a straw, it is gonna spill. So I wanna be able to bring a water bottle that I can just like throw in my bag. I'll probably bring either my Lululemon one that's smaller and fits in like the side of my backpack that I use for my carry-on or one of my Hydro Flasks. Blue light glasses that I just wrote down and then toiletries, makeup, 
I already have that in a bag, but I'll do a separate like section of the video showing you all my makeup. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and then skincare, same thing. I can show my skincare, but I already have it out. A lot of this stuff my mom also has, and because I'm staying at home, it's not necessary that I have to pack a ton of it, but I do like having my things as opposed to borrowing from her. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get some of this stuff out, lay it on the bed, see where I fall, and then I'm not gonna do laundry until probably, I like to do laundry when like I'm done with all my clothes. Like I wanna be able to do laundry and have my plain outfit on and then leave, but because our flight is later in the night, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I might throw it in today. I have some whites in there right now, but we'll see. All right, so this is what I got from my dresser just there. Um, I got like one pair of leggings, four sports bras, underwear, another bra, and four pairs of socks. Like I said, most of my stuff is in my hamper, so I'm gonna do laundry and throw that in. But let's just go to the closet now. And the lighting in here is like so yellow, it's funny. So I think I wanna bring this I'm gonna do, I think for my plain outfit, this is just like a oversized crop from Lulu. And I'm gonna do this with a pair of joggers. So that I'll throw on there. And then I am going to look at what else I need as far as pajamas, a pair of jeans, like a cute outfit, and then like my sweaters, which are right here. So I'll probably take one of those just to have like a nicer outfit. I forgot to write down that I would need sweaters. I don't know why, I always just write literally like leggings, sports bras, sweatshirt, jammies. I didn't write any actual tops that I could wear. So, hence the, the sweaters from my closet. And then I will pick out some jeans, probably two pairs of jeans that I like that can go with any of those. As you can see, I wear a lot of neutrals besides my green pajamas, so that's what those all are. And then I can kind of like mix and match different pieces that I like. So two pairs of jeans, one blue jean, one black jean, two sweaters there, two sweaters, like a waffle cropped long sleeve and a cardigan there, and then two bodysuits, pair of leggings, and my pajamas, a t-shirt, a pajama set, and my beanie, and then two plain t-shirts that I can wear with the cardigan. Once my laundry comes out, obviously there will be more, but I do have a lot of space in my suitcase, and like I said, Billy will be using some of that too. So now I'll go in here and just see on my list if there's anything that I haven't packed yet. But as of right now, there isn't, obviously, besides my shoes. So let's go ahead and dive into skincare and makeup as far as what I'm bringing for that. Time to go through my toiletry bag. The toiletry bag I have is from Lululemon. I can't remember the name of it, but I will take a look and link it down below. I really like it. It's a perfect size. It fits all my skincare and all my makeup. Let's go ahead and dive into what I bring to travel. There's a lot in here. First, we will go through makeup. So if you saw on my last vlog, which I can link here, I don't know really that well how to link in the video. So if it appears, great. If not, I'll link it down below. Is the Merit Shade Slick in... On natural so I've been loving this lip gloss and then also for makeup I use the covergirl true blend undercover concealer and this is in the shade classic ivory I don't wear concealer every day but I like to have it just in case and then I use the beauty counter mascara in better black so I've been really liking this mascara I've used it for quite some time now and I'm actually really liking it. I'll probably have to get another one soon. And then just a normal bronzing blush. This is like from CVS. If you watched my other video, I have my, my Merit blending brush is somewhere in here, which is new. I haven't used it yet. So I'm excited to use it with my dib stick that I'm getting for Christmas, or at least I asked for. So this is the Merit blush. Billy just cheered, something must have happened in football. And then 
Just got this, the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted SPF in shade Melrose. And then also for makeup, I have the Cheeky Clean Cream Blush from Beauty Counter. I haven't been using this that much, but it's more of like kind of a cream blush at it for a little bit, but I just started using it and I feel like it looks really nice on my skin. And then I have the Beauty Counter Beyond Gloss that I have also been using for a while. It is one of my favorites and I also think I need another one. I went through and got like a couple of things from Beauty Counter at one time and that's why I have all of it. And then kind of skincare, but also makeup, the DeBronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. These are my holy grail. I mix them with SPF in the morning if I'm putting on makeup and they just give you like a really nice glow. Last thing is my Lancome Lash Primer. I also got recently. My nail polish is, polish is chipped and I it's on my list of things to do before I go babysit tonight. So that is why you're seeing chipped. All right, and then before skincare, just some like non-essentials. I use the Athena Club razors so i always just bring a separate one and then take the uh, other head off here and leave it in my shower at home my toothbrush i use the phillips sonicare toothbrush that i got from costco and then toothpaste i always use the sensodyne as i grew up getting cavities and this is what my dentist recommended to me floss just the glide advanced oral b floss that i get from costco tweezers eyelash curler the eyelash curler is this one's just like a random one from cbs i think and then my grand lash md lash enhancing serum i swear by this stuff i'll see if i can show you guys my eyelashes so like look i'm sorry i'm like staring into the camera but look at how long they are and all i did my lips are so chopped but all i do is apply that serum like once over and I curled my eyelashes and I put mascara on today. Usually I just curl them and like they're so long. So I recommend that. I got the three month supply and it's lasted a while. And then beauty blender, obviously. And deodorant. Is it fetch? Those are the acrylic shelves. So nice. Remember they sent me new, uh, new ones? Mm -hmm. So we can maybe hang those. Big maybe. <laughs> the summery deodorant i really like this i've talked about it in a couple of vlogs and i've been using it and then skincare related are the bronzing face drops from number 12 i think it's called and i literally just got these and started using them so i'm gonna bring them and see and then a couple last things for skincare oh my gosh i keep forgetting makeup the NYX Control Freak NYX, however you say it, eyebrow gel. And it's just clear. So I use this just to tame my eyebrows and lift them up. Okay, now actually skincare. So in the Sephora haul, I got the Tula Brightening Treatment Drops. So because it's travel size, I'm just going to bring this and use that up. And then if I run out of it, I also have my Coco Kind Vitamin C Serum that I absolutely love and swear by. And then the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum as well that I put on before bed. And then this was also a sample, the BioSense Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. So I'll bring that because it's travel sized. So really love the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. And Sunday Riley Retinol as well. And then last three things from Coco Kind are the Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. This is the overnight cream that I use. And then for a day cream, this doesn't have SPF, so I'll use this usually if I need to just reapply moisturizer like after I shower in the afternoon or before I do the polypeptide cream, but after I'm kind of done putting on SPF once the sun has set. Cleanser I'll bring with me is the Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. So I really love this cleanser and obviously because a lot of these products are full size I will be checking this in my checked bag. I put two hair ties in my toiletry bag and then two whitening strips. So I use the Luminex Oral Essential Certified Non-Toxic Whitening Strips. And these I just got from Amazon which I can link below. So those go in that little side pocket here. 
and that is the rest of what's in my bag so i'm gonna pack that up now i'm gonna leave it in the bathroom because obviously we aren't leaving until tomorrow night but i just wanted to share with all of you what was in my bag for toiletries and makeup and skincare good morning i just woke up yesterday i finished some of my packing and then i had to go babysit so i just woke up it is billy and i's christmas morning so we're doing christmas together before we go home today so that is all ready out there and i'll show you all that but i really wanted to just get back into packing with me so i have the laundry going right now we are changing our sheets from our christmas sheets to our normal white sheets so i'll take you along with me there I'll show you a little bit of snippets of Christmas, but I don't want to have my camera out the whole time when we're spending that time together, opening our gifts and stuff like that. This is my Christmas pajamas though, just wearing gray shorts and a Christmas top that I have matching pants to, but I get too hot because it's fleece. So as I just said, I'm remaking the bed. And then the laundry is in here. I have to wash our sheets. So these are the Christmas sheets that we got from Target. And then I actually just decided to fluff up my laundry. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch that out, put that in there, and then switch the rest of my laundry and throw the sheets in the wash. So now I have to go ahead and wash our Christmas sheets. So like I said, these are the flannel sheets that we got at Target for like $30 on sale. I really don't like the little spinny thing in the middle, as you just saw me struggle with it. But I need to go ahead and wash these because when we come home on the 31st, I want just our normal sheets to be on since I love Christmas, but I don't want to come back and have there be Christmas sheets. So obviously this is a pack with me vlog, but I just wanted to show our little Christmas since it's our Christmas morning. So Billy's stockings on the left, Hobie in the middle, and then mine on the right. And then these are our little presents underneath our tree. Laundry is finished. I am just waiting for the sheets to be done and then I'll go ahead and make the bed. And I just went ahead and packed up my men's and pills and everything like that. We are very much in crunch time and have to leave for the airport in about 45 minutes. Both of us aren't completely packed yet, but I just wanted to show all the tech that I'm bringing home with me. So my iPad's charging, and then I have both my tripods, my handheld and my bigger one, my Kindle, a couple chargers, my Whoop charger, AirPods, AirPod Maxes, MacBook and MacBook charger. And then Billy has to put all his stuff from Christmas away and then we still have to put the sheets on the bed so i'm gonna go ahead quickly do that now and then finish packing because clearly we have a lot to get done we're off to the airport i'm wearing my free people packable puffer hokas and then a lululemon sweat set so we are ready to leave all of our stuff is over here we've cleaned the apartment hobie has his service dog vest on Hi, Bubba, and we're ready to go. We are down to the wire. We were gonna call our Uber at 3.30, but it is now 4.19, and we just called our Uber. Hope we would go for a ride on the plane. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We made it through security, right, Bubba? Fist bump? Good boy. That's a good boy, we did it. We tried to go in this pet relief area, very cute, but very disgusting. So now I'm going to go to the bathroom on my own and fill up my water bottle. I had the bartender make me a kickin' mango mule without vodka. So it's mango, sour, jalapeno, and ginger beer. And I am so excited to try it. Australian Shepherd. Thank you. Okay. We're in the Delta Sky Lounge and the lighting is really weird. 
We obviously brought our cards to the airport so that we can play cards. And Hobie's just hanging. We made it! Travel day is all done. Thank you so much for coming to pack with me and travel along with us as we flew from Austin to Boston for the holidays. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really supports me. Make sure to like this video and comment any other videos that you wanna see down below. And if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for tuning in to this video as well. Bye.